Central serous chiroretinopathy, or CSC for short, is a disease that affects the retina, and in particular, the macula at the back of the eye. So the retina is the nerve tissue that lines the back of the eye, and the macula is the center of the retina. In central serous chiroretinopathy, there's a little blister of fluid that develops underneath the macula. Central serous chiroretinopathy, or CSC, can cause blurred vision or distortion. Some patients may notice this as being difficulty reading. They may notice that their sense of depth perception or stereopsis is affected. And many patients will also describe uh, images being smaller than that, what they normally look like. Central serous chiroretinopathy can affect either one eye or both eyes and it can fluctuate, it can come and go. Central serous chiroretinopathy is not the same disease as macular degeneration, even though it affects the same part of the eye, the macula at the back of the eye. Anybody can get central serous chiroretinopathy, or CSC, but it's much more common in younger males, younger to middle-aged males. There are known risk factors for CSC developing. The most important of these is use of steroids. These steroids aren't necessarily the steroids that you think about the patients take to bodybuild, but they may be steroids that have been prescribed by your doctor or your pharmacist. So they can include things like tablets, but also it's important to remember that we have steroids in other preparations including nasal sprays for allergies, joint injections, as well as creams for rashes. Other than steroids, other risk factors include psychological stress, poor sleep or irregular sleep patterns, high blood pressure, pregnancy, uh, and there's also some thought that certain medications for erectile dysfunction may also worsen this condition. To treat central serous chiroretinopathy, or CSC, we first need to stop any of the risk factors such as steroids. The good news is that in many cases, CSC will get better by itself, although it can take several months to. And for this reason, in most cases, we will employ a watch and wait approach. Most of the time, we will wait three to four months to see whether the fluid dries up and whether the vision improves. If, however, after this period of waiting, there is still poor vision and still fluid underneath the retina, then treatment may be required. The most common treatments include lasers, which can either be a hot laser or a cold laser.